Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do Supreme Court justices get removed? The process of removing a Supreme Court justice is governed by the U.S. Constitution and is similar to the impeachment process for the president and other federal officials. Here are the key steps involved. The House of Representatives initiates the impeachment process by introducing articles of impeachment. These articles must be approved by a simple majority vote in the House. Once the articles are approved, the case is sent to the Senate for a trial. The Senate then conducts this trial, which requires a two-thirds majority vote for conviction and removal from office. Grounds for impeachment. Supreme Court justices can be removed only for high crimes and misdemeanors, a term that is not strictly defined, but generally includes serious offenses such as corruption, abuse of power, or other significant misconduct. The House has broad discretion to determine what constitutes a high crime or misdemeanor. Historical precedent. Only one Supreme Court Justice, Samuel Chase, has ever been impeached. This occurred in 1804, when Chase was accused of partisan behavior and judicial misconduct. However, he was acquitted by the Senate and remained on the Supreme Court until his death in 1811. Current context. Recent controversies involving Supreme Court justices, such as allegations of financial impropriety and conflicts of interest, have led to calls for impeachment. For example, Repetor Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez introduced articles of impeachment against Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, citing their failure to disclose financial income and gifts and their refusal to recuse themselves from relevant cases. Judicial Integrity and Ethics The Supreme Court has implemented a code of conduct to address concerns about its credibility, although these regulations lack enforceability. The importance of maintaining judicial integrity and ethical standards is underscored by the rare but significant actions of impeachment. Citizen involvement. Citizens can influence the process by voting for politicians who support their views on judicial accountability and by contacting their lawmakers to express their opinions on the matter. However, the ultimate decision rests with Congress. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.